why having too much options sucks. Hi, I'm Dr. Lawrence Tan from Drive Your Practice. Now, recently I was in Sydney, Australia, and I was with my friend Taki Moore, and we were actually shopping for a coffee machine, um, specifically Nespresso. And uh, we don't drink coffee, so we didn't know anything about coffee, but we went into the store because we had to find one for his beautiful wife. And so as we went to the store there, we just asked the, you know, the person to find us the best coffee machine. And so, uh, Basically, they kind of gave us the idea of what was the best coffee machine that we should use, and then we went upstairs to get the coffees itself. So then there's the decision of actually figuring out what type of coffee to buy. Now, I don't know if you know Nespresso, but basically they have about 22 options on coffee. Yes, 22. And for two guys who don't know anything about coffee, who don't drink coffee, it's pretty daunting to figure out what type of coffee that you would like to have or buy nonetheless. So there's a book called Paradox of Choice and he talks about how the more choices you offer someone, the least likelihood they will actually buy. That's right, the least likelihood they will buy when you offer too much option. People rather not choose at all and walk away than actually make a choice. So when you off the lesson here is when you offer too much choices in your care plan, you actually will make them not choose anything. And they will walk away and not continue on any plan. So be very careful on how many options you utilize and how many options you offer them because people make like their life to be simple. How I like to say it is that one choice is an ultimatum, two choice is a dilemma, three choice is an option. Anything more than that though, I think is too much. So I would suggest you streamline your report of findings to three options maximum. I would like you to like this video. I want you to share this video amongst your friends and colleagues who you think will get value from this. And most importantly, go to driveyourpractice.com and make sure you opt in for our weekly newsletter. And basically, the weekly newsletter will tell you when the next tip of the week is gonna be, but also when my next free webinars are gonna be as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you at the next tip of the week video.